Welcome to the Community Crime Map video. Community Crime Map is a free public crime mapping program for all law enforcement agencies, powered by LexisNexis. This platform facilitates automated, transparent communication between law enforcement and the public. To access Community Crime Map, simply type in www.communitycrimemap.com. When you arrive at the site, you will see that the user interface consists of three main components, the map, the table of contents, and four tabs located across the top of the map. To access the map, click on any province that you wish to view. A pop-up box will appear with a list of reporting districts to choose from. You can also access a specific city or address by using the address box and entering the city name or street address and clicking the Go To Address button. In this case, we'll enter Hamilton, Ontario. The red address icon will appear in the map at the specific address selected. A buffer zone can help the user view data on the map in a defined area around the address icon from 500 feet out to 5 miles. By clicking on Only Display Events Within Buffer, the data outside the buffer will be excluded. The map can be moved in any direction, and the zoom feature allows viewing in or out. The map can also be viewed in a satellite view. The date range drop-down provides the option to pick pre-selected dates from the Quick View feature or by using the calendars provided, one can pick their own calendar date range. The time slider feature lets you manually adjust what points are showing based upon when they occurred chronologically. The events category allows you to select the crimes which you want to view on the map. Every crime category is available in addition to other crimes like DUI, traffic incidents, and weapons violations. There are two additional categories for all other non-criminal and all other criminal. You can select to view all of the crimes or you can pick and choose them individually. The Offender drop-down is utilized if your region is participating in Offender Watch. This will give you an icon for an offender and a link to what his conviction was. The analytic layers will provide the user the ability to view the map in a density format. One key to the use of the layer is that however the map is moved, it can be recalculated to accommodate the change in the mapping data. The agency layers are provided by the department to put in their city boundaries, neighborhoods, districts, etc., and where they are labeled right on top of the map. By zooming out, we get a better view of the map, which includes these boundaries. By zooming in closer, we also get a better view of the individual icons and what they represent. The icons on the map will provide the user with information on a specific offense to include the IR number, the crime, the date and time, the address, and also the agency. There is also the option for the user to submit an anonymous tip regarding a crime or to set up a neighborhood watch group or a free home security audit should your local agency subscribe to these features. 
you would see the link right here. The data grid is another way to view the same data. You can move the columns around or view it in any way you want to. The Analytics tab breaks down whatever you see on the map at a current time. This is illustrated by crime type by class, crime type day of week, a timeline to show what is up or down, and a temporal topology, which is a combination of time of day and day of week. These charts can be moved around however you would like to view them. The metadata tab reflects the agencies that are submitting data on the area of the map being viewed. This data includes the dates the data was last uploaded, the crime types not submitted, whether it was geocoded by Google or by the agency, and the number of records viewed and the date range. Community Crime Map also allows the user to sign up for crime alerts. By completing the form to include their name and email address, the user can choose a radius around their address or school and be notified on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis when a crime has occurred. They can also choose a time for when they would like the report to be sent to them. Thank you for viewing our Community Crime Map video. We hope you'll find it useful.